today I'll be doing for you a special piece that I titled In the Day of Thy Power. First of all, I want to thank God for this beautiful opportunity and the organizers of this event for this wonderful privilege. And I pray that these words that I'm about to speak will serve their purposes in your lives in Jesus' name. You're so pretty, but that's not enough to buy you a good spouse. You're so fruitful and prosperous, but that's not enough to buy you a healthy house. You're over six feet tall, tall and lanky, but that doesn't still give you a foothold at that dream agency. It's not fair, I know it is tricky. You are seemingly meticulous and so soft-spoken, but still lose jobs that require simple fluency. You're all those things except the one thing that you need to be. And you say that you're fit, but what if you're a peacock in the physical, but a mere forest fly in the spiritual? And my Bible tells me that the things that we see are controlled by the things that we do not see and that the things that we do not see cannot be controlled until we let this mortal man be. To dig in, press through. Instead of adjusting ties and dusting wigs, we should be clearing spider webs. Yeah, that's true. There is no power without power. This is the Lord's territory. It was not a democracy, so all ye foes are praising to discomfort. Lose your comfort. This is not a game. This is an authority. Let scrambling hearts receive stability. God of power, in the day of thy power, in this day of thy power, pull us out from under. Let there be a reconnection, a rejuvenation. Let there be a reintegration. Oh God, please take charge of hearts that have been leased out to pain. Take charge of homes that have been leased out to chaos. Step into boats that are almost sinking in turbulence is so boisterous. Let willing hearts receive answers. Let stubborn hearts be read of such cancer so that they may believe and that no one is left in the darkness to leave. And if there be brethren behind bars, let them be led out to their children, to their folks. Let them be welcomed to their families with chocolate bars. And sometimes we think that we know, like we have everything figured out because of the figures that our bank accounts pop out. But Lord, to be rich in money alone is the stinkiest brand of cologne. So teach us, teach us to deal with our manners before expecting heavenly manner. Teach us to be deep in brotherly affection before trying to claim sonship through adoption. Teach us that sometimes we might be the problem. Help us conquer ourselves humbly first. Because power is definitely here. There is no room for fear. All these powers, we cannot be held bound by all these powers. The S in there stands for scrap. Yeah, crap. They all lie, they all cap. Power is power. God of power, in this day of thy power, let us go on with party packs greater than regular souvenirs. Keep our helpers near, keep spoilers away. Let miracles be the order of the day. Order our blessings to find us, order them to stay. Let our pockets drag, God burn down our rags. Power, power, who stays up and who goes under? Who reigns for a while and who excels forever? It is all in the power. And for a power that is far too ancient, this is a generation far too bougie, far too modern, far too arrogant, far too far from the far too far power. 
We pay too much attention to our perfect and high musical pitches, our well arranged business pitches, our slightly difficult ways and mysteries. And we forget that there are powers, powers that the holy books already foresaw, powers that are bound by a strange kind of law, laws that we cannot understand until our hearts search heaven and our knees kiss the floor, powers that bind until you decide that you've had your final straw. that the Bible warned us about when it wrote that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness in high places so stop stepping on your enemies they are not down there they are up, up here so rise up and break them in pieces and since the amount of good deeds you do is not directly proportional to the good things that come to you you need power power to receive when you're not given power to arrive when you're not driven power to rise up when you've been sunk in power to be hero power to be winning when there clearly has been no way So be more than in all your doings, be more than all you want, but to keep at that, you gotta be ancient in your fire. And I would have said period since it's 2022, but we're talking ancient, so I'll say sailor. Thank you. You can do better than that. Let me give it up. For you.